Hello, it is Monday, January 23rd, 2012 at 126 a.m. Central Standard Time. And someone called RC, RKICF8 um, did a video in response to one of my videos called Melting Ice Caps with Ionosphere Heaters Square Storm Patterns. And in it, you can he talks or shows these rings up by the North Pole that are coming down into the cloud area. And the video he was responding to was um, one that I did called 12112 Huge Heart Frequency Rings on Nexat. And it just so happens that I had saved um, some more loops relating to that. Well, maybe. It doesn't want to seem to go over that. Here we go. Okay. And right in, let's see, right here. See it? Right at 815 right here, coming down Texas. And the red is low cloud detection. And so there's something that's crossing over, it to, or it's at the edge of this low cloud detection, which just happens to be kind of in a straight line here. I'm not quite sure how that is, but you can see it all the way down in these areas too. And while we're here, I wanted to show you that there was rings that showed up here in Texas as well. Right here, right here, you're getting what I call a satellite ring. And then, yeah, I always hit that going around it. And it shows up, that's at 12012, <laughs> January 20th at 245 um, UTC. Twenty forty-five. That's right. Okay, and then right here you can see the ring. This is at twenty-one forty-five, which is the same time that the other two videos I did showing them. And you can see the center of this one's right here. Um, this is hard to see, but Texas is coming down. Here's the tip. You know, before it comes down here, and so this is right here. There's a some kind of a road or a county or a state right here. It's almost at the bend. Actually, it's about halfway before where it bends. It would be the center of this huge circle. And that's the only one that's showing on here. But then you go along, and day, day turns into night, and watch the little red clouds. And they're just kind of <laughs> hanging out. I'm going to just kind of keep going through here. But see how there's a, like a wall here, right here. See, it's, it's not, they're not, the low clouds don't seem to be, I'm not sure why. And then right there, this is at 7.15 UTC. Right before that, this is at 7.01, it's not there. 7.15, it is there. And then coming along at 7.30, not there. 7.45, not there. 8.01, 8.15, they show up again. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see the times. You know, we'll just have a portion of that showing. Um, so watching here, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then right there at 7.15, the time's right here. And then nothing, nothing, nothing. And then there again at 8.15, and then nothing. One thing I want to point out is, um, I'm going to zoom back out here. That the that these rings that showed up, they only show up on the visible side of things. When when you looked at the one that I had of the whole nation, anything in the nighttime area, they didn't show there. Only on the day on the daylight, and they appeared right before the termination line, the terminator line came through. And I'm not sure if we're, we can see that here, the terminator line or not. Yeah, you can see it right there. See this little, yeah, I can't point with my fingers, but there's a little gray line. You'll see it kind of like at an angle here. Now it's coming through right there. See where day turns to night. That's the terminator line. So going over to another one that I had saved. This one is, I can't remember, we'll have to get there. This is across the Midwest. And again, we're getting that same thing. Well, and this is in the night area only. But see how this, it's, I mean, it's a line. 
that go that going down the whole United States. There's Oklahoma, I mean, Kansas, Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota. And again, it's at 7.15. Let me go up a little bit so I can get to my controls and find out where they're at here. Here we go. So it's 7.15. And then coming back around. I'm going to tie this back in, I hope, to, to this other guy's video. But And then here's at 8.15. And you can see them in all the low, all the pink areas at, up to a certain point. Well, no, it shows up here a little bit, too. So, I'm, um, well, let me show you the rings, too, while we're here. This is at um, 2045 on the 20th. And then here comes the, terminate, the Terminator line. And right here, right, notice it's right before, here's the terminator line right here. And then here you've got more of those harp rings, frequency rings. And this one's centered on the border of Kansas and, what is there, Colorado, right? Yeah, Colorado, almost half and half. And then um, this one's on the border of North Dakota, South Dakota, not quite over on Montana here, but just so those are the two and then Texas was right below it of course so there was three in a row here which is that's what we saw on the first video did as well as the second going down the California coast so for some reason three seems to be a, a, a number and again here's the night side of things and you're not seeing them so I'm going to zoom in so you can see this ring see how it's and let me go down and show you this other one too and right here you can see the center of it right there on the border of Kansas Colorado and how to show you those little lines right there see well we'll just kind of zoom through here real quick now they're showing up a little bit there that's interesting. They really show up right there, which is at 7.15. And then going on, oops, I just went backwards. There again at 8.15. So whatever they are, they seem to ha target the, the 15 mark, the 7.15 and 8.15. So let's see. I want to go back and show you, okay, this is not the same day, it's the day after, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but, and this is why um, that video caught my eye when, when he posted a response, because I don't know if you can see it, but right coming out of here, we're getting that frequency ring. Now if I zoom in, oh, I've got to use this tool. And I, you know, and this is visible satellite, so we shouldn't be seeing anything that would I would assume that would show in the visible satellite area would be waves that are close to the visible area. Can you, I don't know? Can you see the rings here? Um, you might have to go look at it yourself. It's under um, hemispheric products. I'll show you here, and then go to visible. And then pick Canada, and that's where you can see it the best. And they're coming from, you know, off the where they're emanating from is off the image, so you can't really tell. And they don't don't seem to show up on this one. And I'll, I'll show you why in just a second here. But um, in addition to that, <laughs> I've got all these things I'm trying to do at the same time. Maybe too many. Let's go here. We'll finish talking about that um, way back. Here in um, August 3rd, 2011, I talked about multiple holes and arcs found in satellite images. And you can see right here is a hole. And if you go watch that video, I'll, put, I'll give you a link to it. You can watch the whole thing. Well, what they did shortly after, uh, there was another one I did after this, they um, started doing cutouts out of the radar so that you couldn't see that part anymore. So you couldn't see the holes in the radar. And so go watch that video. Um, I don't want to play the whole thing. It's 10 minutes, and I probably 
I kind of hadn't been doing it for very long, so <laughs> hopefully it's all right. Um, and so switching back over here, well, this go away. Here we go. I wanted to show you that this is this is when all those rings show up, those frequency rings. And it, it, at 21:45 on January 20th, and see this huge cutout they have here, as well as here. And see, this is Alaska, and there's a heart facility located right up here in Alaska. Which I'm going to switch back over now to another video I did called Two Earthquakes Near New Madrid, Missouri on 118.12. And you can see this little white hole right here that showed up. So now switching back to this, you can see that this is cutting that off. So if there were a little hole there, you wouldn't be able to see it. And as well as that other one that I showed you, you wouldn't be able to see it. Now I'll go ahead and start play this through, maybe. Oops, hit start, that would help. There we go. Just so you can see these different cutouts. They've, and there's also some satellite rings that show up, which also showed up on the next sat. And this is College of DuPage. And right here, the next generation weather lab. But you can see that that one is a big one. The, um, that cutout was right there. I'll let it go again, I'll stop it right at the point. Where I was going to, I missed it. Let's go back. There it is, right there. So you can see there's hardly even any image showing. So, and this was when all those frequency rings. So this, this, I call it a bumper. <laughs> I don't, and it, uh, it's probably not a bumper, but um, it does something because that it happened at that, and it does other things too. Um, I've talked about it in other videos. So let's see, did I cover everything? Oh, I was going to show you this. This is um, also from. There we go, right back there. This is actual infrared satellite on January 20th at 2145 and you can see that that bumper thing shows up on this image as well. So the cutout isn't just on visible but also on the infrared. And I'll go ahead and play this through just so you can maybe a little slower would be good. And you can see where all the clouds fell apart too. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you those additional images and talk about the holes in the satellite and, the, and those little rings that emanate down. And they seem to line up. Oh, I know. I <laughs> got to go back here to tie it in. Yeah, I lost it. Let's see. We'll open it here. This, um, where those little rings show up up here, this goes on the 15 minute and the 45 minute mark. And it seems to fluctuate back and forth between 15 and 45. So I'm thinking that might have something to do with why they showed up on the next sat. And they don't always show up, but it, they hap they, it happened on the same t time that those harp rings did. So, well, I hope this isn't too long. God bless you. Have a good rest of the night.